What's good everyone, it's ZigZag here, welcome back to another GeoGuessr video and welcome back to the road to number one in the world on GeoGuessr Jewels. Obviously, the new map is out, we had a fairly good episode last time, well, we won most of our jewels but we lost a bit of rating. Today we're hoping to push up a little bit higher, we should still be in the top 100 roughly, where are we right now? We are 79th in the world, so yeah, not going too badly. I'm going to start off with NMPZ and if it somehow goes badly, then we'll switch over. So I was planning on not making a video until they fix the matchmaking, but I think it's somewhat fixed. We should be facing higher rated opponents now. And we have a 1000 rated. Ah, uh, I don't want to play against this, but you know, we, we have to, we'll, we'll play as it may. Uh, you know, it's for the content. It's not for, it's not for, you know, my own personal enjoyment as much as it normally is. Um, and uh, yeah, here we go. Is the first one here way back. And I think this is Turkey, obviously, with the Turkish flag. Our opponent will know that. So let's make a nice region guess here. It seems fairly flat. Almost feels fairly Southern to me. Um, but I'm trying to look at the water tanks here. They're very, they're like the generic style, I would say. Unless that is a South, south style. Maybe. It could be like the bent edges, which you get in the South, but I can't actually see it properly. I'm just going to go Adana here, I think. And it was actually Mersin there. Or oh, what's this one called? Yeah, Mersin. So that's a really nice start to the duel. Um, 500 points of damage. And let's head through to round number two here, which is looking like it might be somewhere in Italy. we got Italian language here. Uh, architecture kind of feels slightly more northern, but could be really anywhere in my opinion. I might go like Florence here. I think that feels pretty reasonable. Could be, could be more southern though. I don't know. Maybe I'll actually just go halfway between Florence and Rome here. I think that feels pretty reasonable, uh, but we shall see soon enough. But yeah, I mean, this is like typical, oh, it was more towards Florence there, but that was a typical like font on the, uh, on the Italian sign there. So I mean, really good start here. Just out region guessing so far. Next one here appears to be South Africa with these types of road lines, and it is, but whereabouts? It's Giga Flat, which is kind of uncommon in South Africa. My two thoughts are like just around Pretoria somewhere, but I wonder about this peninsula or like this little exclave, enclave, not really, you know what I mean, this little part here in South Africa, which is very flat. Um, I could see that. East Southeast Highway here. Not really think I not really thinking I see a highway that actually fits in that area. So, in which case, there are some other plateaus. I guess it's probably just out here, to be honest. That's probably my main thought here. Um yeah, or, or maybe or maybe it's just a very green free state, but normally free state is not so green. I'm gonna go here. And okay, it was just yeah, it was just downtown the capital there. So well, obviously South Africa has multiple capitals, but you know what I meant. Um and it's just gonna be 70 points of damage. Next one here, we got yellow lines, feels like the US. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, these are southern pines almost certainly to me. Um, it's very flat. The road is pretty normal looking. And we don't get too much else. I mean, we have yellow things on the signposts. I forget what that would be. Maybe this is actually a more of a kind of South, Dakota, South Carolina kind of vibe. I'm going to go for that. I don't know. The crops kind of reminded me of more like near the Delta. But I think it's too many pines for that. Um, and then the road's just very plain, so that kind of reminds me, and the, and the pines being quite tall reminds me of like Georgia, South Carolina. It is Georgia there. Our opponent goes Mexico there. Forget that a 1,000 rated opponent probably wouldn't be able to get around like that too easily. But that's good. Okay, I, mean, I mean, it makes sense that it was Georgia, to be honest. That, was, that was, would have been a better guess. Next one here, US, Canada. We could actually go the wrong side of the country here, or wrong side of the continent. I get West Coast vibes here, strangely. We do have front plates. The houses are rather poor, so I think that kind of makes me think more so the US side, especially PNW. The US side's a bit poorer, um, but then is it actually PNW? I don't know. It could be Northeast as well, but I'm less confident on that. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like it's kind of just like, could be like Vancouver, um, Washington or something like that. I don't know why I'm calling that out specifically, but... Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I think I think it is right. And okay, it was actually just in Northern California there instead. Uh, but we obviously finish off the duel there. So GG's to our opponent. I mean, this map is very tough a lot of the times, but we do get one rating there. Do I even... I don't know, guys. We'll go again here, but I don't really like facing these opponents, to be honest with you. Uh, but let's hope we get a higher rated opponent now. 1.2. I mean, I'm not really sure I'm happy about that either, but it's still at least a few points rating on offer. And the first one here, we got a red road. Yo. Um, and what are we going to say about that? I mean, this is definitely not typical red road territory. It looks very far north. So, oh, okay. I've got an idea. If we got a red road and it's feeling quite north. Maybe this is like Upper Peninsula, Michigan, where you get it quite often. Could work. North, northeast here. 
Um, could certainly work. We could be, we could be up there. Um, yeah. Where else it really makes sense with a red road like that? I don't know. I think I feel like that's like the only zone of red roads I would consider. Um, but maybe it's just some random stuff. I mean, everything feels right. <laughs> oh, the red road haters stay constantly losing, man. And we get 1.6k uh, damage off the bat there. That is how we roll on this channel, ladies and gentlemen. You already know. Next one here feels maybe Guatemalan. Yeah, and we're driving right, and we have a very thin yellow line. I think I'm going to slam it in here and hope our opponent doesn't quite realize that we got the square blur at the back here, which would indicate Guat. Um, 1.2k rated. I think there's a good chance they do know, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see if it could be big damage, but they get a nice region guess out in the west there. Um, our Polish opponent here for 300 damage. So, you know, we lose a bit of the advantage we had. I should have actually region guessed. Next one here, we got Poland. Looks like very Polish architecture to me. And we are recording, nice. And I would say it gives me more of a North vibe, but I'm gonna go for the humble, for the humble woods hedge here and hope for the best because, I mean, I don't really get any particular vibe. Maybe if I had to say a real vibe, it would actually be West here. It kind of looks, okay, yeah, that's why you go for the hedge boy. Um, and... <laughs> Imagine region guessing Poland on a flat round, man. That's uh, that's crazy. But uh, okay, we get a nice guess there. If you could really call it that. Next one here is uh, Finnish road lines with the white and the yellow. Uh, trees are getting a bit thinner, but nothing crazy. I'm going to go eastern here. It kind of feels eastern as well. going to go here. Um, yeah, I kind of like that. I often guess eastern when there's like kind of slight bumpiness to the landscape. Um, but this could just as easily be western. It could be like Sweden border, um, and we will see. Our opponent will know the country, though. Although, they missed the uh, white lines next to the uh, yellow ones there, and that is going to be almost GG. It ends up being quite southern, kind of missed the vibe off the trees, unfortunately, because it was winterish. And the next one here is going to be, I think it's actually Ecuador. Lots of white brick going on, yellow, I mean, blue water tank. Definitely like an Ecuador here. Um, it's kind of slightly hilly, but not all the way hilly, which is interesting to me. I think it's probably just Central Valley somewhere. I'm going to go for that. Uh, all we have to do is kind of hedge the rest of the game out with 200 points um, uh, left on the opponent. So feeling good about this guess, but we will see soon enough what ends up happening. Um, and yeah, it was Ecuador all the way... In oh, it was actually over in Colombia. How many, how many white plates did we have there? That definitely felt like Ecuador crazy around there. Yeah, I guess they were all trucks, man. Oh, this map. Yeah, this map is going to cause us to do some goofy stuff. We, we got four points back there, which is nice. But this map is definitely going to cause us to do some goofy stuff, man. Anyway, next opponent. Will it be the same person? Oh, it's Max! Max. Oh, no. Max is quite underrated. 1.2k. Hello, Mr. Max. Best best player in Africa, I think it's fair to say. Um, he missed out on qualification for the Europe Championships, though, which is a bit of a shame. But definitely one of the, you know, OGs of the community. Um, okay, we are going west-southwest here. And we see the ocean. Are we, like, right here? That would make some level of sense to me. I'm just going to go for it here, guys. I don't know. The ocean is definitely south of us, so I feel like that makes sense. It could be further east here along these as well. Wow, it's out that one. Okay, that makes sense. It was very volcanic, uh, but he misses it quite a lot. So 400 points off the bat there. To be honest, right clicked. I don't think it really looks like that, but, you know, yeah, we take it. Next one here, Philippines, Philippines. Um, kind of normal looking tracks here, I would say. I know the tracks are something you can go very deep into, but I don't quite know it yet. Tons of palms. I remember Max, back in the day when we were playing, when he was better than me, he would tell me that these islands have tons of palms, so I wonder if he's going to go there, because he should see them in the background there. Maybe I should use his own meta against him. Um, but, I don't know, like... Uh, I'm going to learn the Philippines provinces soon, but I don't know them yet. We've got southeasterly mountains. I'm just going to go for it, guys. That would be funny if it, if it ends up being correct. Um, and it was there. He actually goes for um, Negros there, and it ends up being all the way the very furthest, furthest south point in uh, in um, Luzon, the biggest island. And you know what? It wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad guess by us. Next one here, southern Africa. Should be South Africa for that reason. Um, and we are in the nation that Max lives in, of course, although... Uh, he is very good at South Africa. It's also one of my strongest countries as well. Um, this kind of feels like it might be out the way of Kuruman or something like that here. Um, east, southeast grid. I don't think the grid's really going to help us here, but I mean, yeah, I mean, it could be out in this direction, I guess, in that part of the suburb. But uh, the very white soil and these kind of houses would make sense for that area. So let's find out if we're right. And it was a bit further south there in Greek Griekvastat. And uh, we do a little bit more damage. So we're still flawless so far. 
Next one here. Single yellow line, but I think we might be in US. I think it's Beatty. Yeah, I don't I don't recognize this for Canada. The but the trees also feel quite northern. They're not quite they're very straggly. They don't look like the southern pines. So I'm gonna go Massachusetts, Connecticut here. Um and I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. If it, I'm pretty sure it's US, but I don't know where. This is the most likely area with a single yellow line and with kind of weird looking trees. Could even be Cape Cod itself, to be honest. And yeah, it was Cape Cod, whoops. Um, but we are a thousand points closer there. So that's a good result, that's a good result. Um, he goes Canada, so feeling good, feeling good about the jewel. Um, next one here is 1.5 times damage in RG. The bushes here are big, I'm noticing. The bushes here are definitely big. Um, which means you shouldn't be too far south. Like, you wouldn't really get them south of, like, this line. I think we might be around here, but it could be Rio Negro, could be La Pampa. Uh, though, all in all, East, South, East. I think it's more likely to be around here. Rio Negro or Chubut is my vibe here. I'm gonna go right here. And, okay, well, that's actually La Pampa. Wow, that's a pretty tough La Pampa. But, uh, I mean, pre multis or not, not many multis, it's nothing crazy. I mean, if, if he 5k'd, it would have been trouble for us, but otherwise we were fine. Next one here, uh, we have a very mixed vibes US. Not really sure. This hedge looks quite far north, but the rest of the round, not so much maybe. Um, I think it's Appalachians. We have chimneys, so surely it does get somewhat cold, although probably see them in most of the US. Um, no, this, this hedge, I don't want to get baited too baited by it. it. It looks south, but at the same time, the rest of the round might not. Um, Virginia came to mind here. It looks like we have no front plate. So maybe that would make me think like West Virginia, North Carolina, Kentucky, something. It could actually be just be West Virginia. I think I've seen a lot of West Virginia rounds that look like this. I'm gonna go for that. Um, I think he's gonna go for similar because it's the type of round where you might just hedge. Well, he's calling GG though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ends up being Tennessee. Good guess in Kentucky there. Um... Yeah, the hedge, very interesting looking. Not really sure if I've ever seen one that quite looked like that, but maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Next one here. Oh, I th this is a repeat. Oh, well, no, it's not. It's just a similar round to what I've had, but sunflowers in France. Um, this just feels like the dead middle of the country to me. I'm just going to go like that. And okay, it's, it's a bit further west there. So Max has started to turn it up now that the Maltese are here. It's a thousand points of damage. So we have to lock in. Hopefully get some harder ones. Because I feel like Max, he's not at the height of his powers anymore. He used to be uh, maybe a year ago. This feels like um, it's going to be somewhere in Bangladesh. He's going to know that. He goes quickly. So what do I think here? Yeah, check copyright 2023. Not really going to be too helpful. I wonder if this is northwest. I'm going to go for, a bit, for that a bit here. I'm going to go a bit further northwest here. And it ends up being northwest. Nice. He goes a bit further south. So that is going to be a, a good chunk of damage there indeed. He says good guess. Thank you, Max. Um, and the next one here is Europe, but where? Ooh, kind of a shorter plate there. Bulgarian, um, flag should be trustworthy. Um, and it feels maybe more southern Bulgaria here. Not really too sure. I think I'm just going to go the middle of the country on, on this occasion. I mean, he will see the flag, surely. Um, it's just a matter of region guessing. And yeah, we go for the same guess. Well, it's just on the Danube there. That is the Danube, right? Yeah. So <laughs> it was very hilly for that area, but... Yeah, I mean, I feel like both of us kind of had to go for that. Could have gone north, could have. I'd considered, but nah. Next one here feels like Austria, feels like central Austria to me. Could even be Germany with 2023 copyright, but I'm going to put him straight in here. Now, could it actually be Slovenia? Slovenia. I think this pavement looks much more German-Austrian, so I'm going to actually click on the Austria label here. I think it's a good guess, I think. And yeah, it was actually over in Germany, but that's actually quite near where I've been in Germany. Indeed, but uh, yeah, I've been to this, these lakes here, but um, you know, it would have been a tough call out there. Next one here, we are in Sweden. We've got a red road. We've got fairly big and thick trees, although the trees do sometimes lie in Sweden. But with a red road in Sweden, Dalarna tends to be the best one, which is uh, this one here with Falun in it. Now, landscape wise, do I like it? I think I do. I think I do. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking a little bit further east here. I'm just going to go like that though. And okay, it was further southwest. That's going to be a good chunk of damage, almost a thousand, I reckon. Uh, yeah, a thousand points. So everything's in the balance now. Max can actually take us out. Okay, Uruguay's a country I like. I think it's Uruguay. It is. This is like southwestern Uruguay. This is like, um, this is like right here to me. This is like here. Okay, please. Okay, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Uruguay's a great country to be able to region guess. It is fairly large. 
and that's almost GG damage, 1.3k. I almost committed further west. Did you see me teetering? And then I was like, nah, let's hedge it a little bit more towards the capital, but it's okay. Next one here, Brazil. Okay, it could, be, could, could all end here. We've got northern style pavement, I want to say. Everything's feeling kind of Amazonian as well. Um... Copyright, copyright, copyright. We want copyright right now. Um, because that can help in Brazil. Okay, what's the actual vibe though? Um the the, the crazy the crazy uh feeling of having to either region guess or find the copyright. Um it looks like it uh, it's almost visible there. I feel like that might be like older coverage. So these palms are like very typical near Belém. Um and I think I might leave. I, I, I think I might actually go Santarum here. I think it's like Belém, Santarum, Manaus, something like that. Ah oh, shit! Oh no, that's. I was gonna go. I was gonna go Belém, and it wouldn't have been enough. And that's GG. Well, um, this this was like a prime example of copyright just not working out because I was definitely going Belém, and then because it looked a bit drier in the background, and then I just uh, saw the copyright and I thought it might be in the Amazon because they haven't done the coverage there in a while, but I couldn't actually read it properly. So that was just dumb. Okay. Uh, last one for the day. We're against a 1.3 K rated, uh, Spanish player and we are in S Watini. Let's try and press our advantage here by going quickly. Although it should be a fairly simple one for most players at this rank, I would say, uh, with the kind of long brown golden grass. Um, we'll see if our opponent knows it though. It was fairly flat for S Watini. So I thought there was a chance that he might not know. I oh, mean, that's such an annoying loss. But it's also a bit unlucky to have outplayed, I think, all in all, and then roll a Brazil last up on NMPZ. It's not what you want to see. Anyway, next one here is definitely North America, but where is a great question? This definitely does not give me a strong vibe at all. Um, mm, so, road's kind of pale. Uh, it's definitely north. This is 100% north, but I, I don't think it's west coast. Um, but I don't think it's east coast either. So maybe I'm thinking Michigan, Wisconsin. I don't know. What does this feel like, man? Ugh, pretty disgusting round. Um, it's kind of hilly though. Maybe we could be like southeast Min Minnesota kind of hills. Uh, it's not. It's not feeling good, is it? Um, hmm. do I actually like that? I don't know. This could be like Missouri just as well, but it does feel kind of cold with these plants on the right side. So yeah, I'm just going to go, uh, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. I think it's okay. I don't think we're going to lose more than 2000 points, but, uh, we could, <laughs> which is kind of scary. Um, I just hope it's not West coast somehow. That would be a very crazy round. Okay. It was actually Canada. That makes a bit more sense. Michigan would have been good. Our opponents are higher. I guess we'll do a bit of damage to us. I don't know. The road wasn't red. Probably shouldn't have gone where I went. All right, guys. Uh, next one here, Mexico, I think. Yeah. Oh, we have Generation 2 in Mexico. Kind of rare. What, what? There's one southern state where you get that, but I mean, this kind of looked like Campeche. So, would it be? Hmm. Mm -hmm. It does kind of look a bit Yucatan, right? But it's, it is also hilly. Um, pole top. Not so sure about that. I think it's uh, Guerrero, maybe, that has a, a lot of... Or Michoacan that has a, uh, like a fair amount of Gen 2 left over. I might just hedge it here. I don't know. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go here. The, the the palm looks more like Yucatan or East Coast, but again, I'm trying to use camera metas. Maybe I should just be, I don't know. The, the, you're always kind of torn between using a camera meta and using the real life landscape, but sometimes using the camera meta is better, guys. Okay, this one, okay, this was Chapas on the border. Forgot that road exists. 1.4K damage, we could have had a lot more there had I just gone for Campeche, but it was pretty healing for Campeche, to be honest. Next one here, Southern Africa. Um uh interesting looking heels they kind of remind me of the ones you get around like this kind of area here i'm gonna go for that i think um but it should be just pretty central here with these kind of smaller heels dry landscape could could be actually yeah okay it's a little bit further towards bloomfontaine was gonna say it could up, be up this area as well that's good damage um and it puts us 800 points ahead which is not too bad i really don't want to lose this one i could say that much next one is actually kind of difficult. So we have the uh, Latin American Google car here. Is that Mexico or is that Colombia is the question. They're the only two options in my mind here. The pole, is it? I mean, let's see if we get any extra info here. We don't. Um, the pole, is it? Is it octagonal or is it um, 
or is it round? I, I, I'm leaning Columbia here, but I don't really have a great reason for that. Like, it kind of, it looks like it could be, like, maximum east um, Mexico again. I'm just going to go, because you might think it's Brazil or something. And, to be honest, it could be, but I think the poll... I don't know. The poll is very... It's very hard to tell if that is going to be round or not. Zooming would, obviously, help immensely here. And, yeah, it was max east Mexico. It was my very first vibe. Um, but I kind of knew our opponent was very likely to go Colombia, and that's kind of the thing I don't like so much about Jules, is like, sometimes you, you just play safe, because you know where you think your opponent's gonna go. Anyway, next one here is Canada, um, and we may have a place name there, but I think it's BC or Alberta regardless, and I'm probably just gonna go for that, um, I mean... It could be Banff, could be Jasper, but I don't think the mountains are quite epic enough. So I think it's more so just down this region here. I'm just going to go for that. I don't know. It should be just southernish BC here with these kind of trees looking fairly big. Single yellow line, though, indicating Canada. And surely this is not East Canada. That would be too... These mountains would not be snow-capped there. I'm pretty sure of it. And okay, what's well, Whistler there? Okay, so another famous place. Um, good guess from the opponent. 1,000 damage. I don't know. There's just more of more towns out, out east, so I assumed it would probably be there. Next one here, Generation 2 in Canada. Okay, Generation 4, actually. Um, so maybe US, actually. Ooh. No, nah, it does give me Canada vibes, but where? These rounds, man, I think we actually may have to switch to no moving. This map is just on another level of difficulty. It truly is hard. Um, lots of ferns. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Is it northeast ferns, or is it kind of central east ferns, like these ones or these ones. I, I think I could go like Quebec here on New Brunswick. Um, I'm, I'm struggling to be objective today for some reason. Uh, Pull top. Doesn't really look New Brunswick. It could be Maine though. 2021. Probably wouldn't be Maine then. I don't know. I don't know where this is. I think I would go, I think I would go Ontario, Quebec actually is my main thought here. But this striped car, I don't really know how often it's there. I can't remember. Uh, we could die here. We could. I mean, if it's crazy, but no, it's not crazy. It's just nice. So there we go. That's going to be a good 2.6k. Puts us in the commanding position, but we have lost from the commanding position so far. Um, And looks like it's going to be... Oof. Okay. We have the brake light here. Ugh. Kind of an unpleasant round, I can't lie. Um, Again, let's definitely search for... Okay, we got... 2022 copyright. So, this to me is either Southeast Brazil or just Colombia. The soil is quite red. I think I lean Southeast Brazil. But if it's Colombia, it's a disaster. Because we could actually just get knocked out here. I could hedge between the two, but that's just there's just no point. They're too far apart. Uh, pole top looks more Brazilian. Pole, uh, the, the, the actual fence looks more Brazilian. The dirt looks more Brazilian. But the landscape is fairly sus. I think it's fair to say. Uh, the sun seems to be kind of north. That could be good for us. I'm gonna go Minas Gerais here. This is where I would say it is if it's in Brazil. And if it's in Colombia, then somewhere in the center. But yeah, 2022, it's a bit sus. Ooh, really nice guess here. I forget that, yeah, 1.3, 3K, whatever he was, can make really nice guesses like that. So that's impressive stuff. Um, long antenna here. Are we in Spain? That wouldn't be good. Oh no, it's gonna be somewhere in uh, smaller hills in Albania here. So I'm just gonna go straight in in case he hasn't realized that. Uh, we do have, like, a mini rift here, so I, I assume he will know. Um, and, yeah, it was just in Albania. Yeah, this guy's good. This guy's good. Cannot lie. And we do have a 3 to 1, almost, or a 2 to 1 HP advantage, but it can slip away very quickly at quadruple damage. And here we are in, I would say, Senegal. Yeah, and... Senegal can be a real pain here. I'm just going to hedge a little bit further east. Like, it it probably feels more like this area, but it could be this area, so better to just go for this hedge, I think. Um, and, yeah, Senegal on Generation 3 was never my speciality. He's crying, though, so he may not know the country. I think it should be Senegal, though. We'll see. Um, and, yeah, he goes Nigeria. That's unfortunate. Uh, and we actually get a nice region guess as well there, so 14,000 points is going to finish off the game. Uh, man... I don't know, it's, the map is not, the map is fun, I like the map, but just some rounds are so difficult and you're just like, wow, like, what are you meant to do? So I think actually maybe next next one we fill out our no moving games. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, GG's to Max for the win and GG's to the other opponents here. Thank you very much for watching the video to the end and I'll see you guys in a video very soon. Till next time guys, and goodbye.